Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. It's a freezing cold day in November. Um, I'm in the shack. I just was just having a think. Uh, the rain's hammering down outside. It's cold, wet, windy. And I was just going through the comments and I, I was just having a think about a comment that comes up on basically every product review that I do on YouTube for any radio. And this question comes up all the time. And I've seen it on other people's videos as well. And that question is, um, is this radio license free? Um, is this license free or just license free question mark question mark so I just thought I would do a quick five minute video just to talk about what license free actually means um, you know sort of in, in, in basic terms so license free usually applies to the band um, the comment that comes on the video is referring to the radio so we'll talk about the band first so in the UK 446 to 446.1 um contains 16 channels or it's actually 446.2 now um, contains 16 license free channels called PMR 446 that band was was allocated as a license free band by Ofcom and other regular regulatory bodies around Europe um, for license free communications so to the novice to the person that's just not clued up on radio yet is just out learning you know you think great that's a license free band, I don't need to get my amateur radio license, I don't need a business license, that's a license free band where I can talk and use anything, but the reality is is that you can't, you can't use anything, and this is where your question comes in, so is that radio license free? So for PMR446, this radio is completely license free, because this there's terms and conditions um, applied to the band, and it's the same with GMRS, MERS, and other you know um, allocations around the world, the conditions apply to that. So I can use this radio on PMR446 because it has a fixed antenna and it has an output power of 0.5 watts. They're the main two criteria. There are others, so you can't use mobile stations, as in um, you can't use like mobile radios in a car with a magma on and stuff like that. Although, this is where it gets confusing because there are some that have come out which are like a, a tiny little radio with an attached mag mount which doesn't plug in, it's fixed to the radio, but that's a whole different thing. But the, the basic rule um, s states that basically I can't go and grab, I haven't got anything to show you at hand, but I can't go and grab my ICOM unit that's wide banded to 446 megahertz, plug in a big antenna and drive around. That's, that's what the law states. So this radio is perfect for PMR446. Um, you do get less range out of these things because they are only operating about 0.5 watts um, so you're limited with them but a lot of people think that this is a low power radio it looks like that this must be license free but this isn't so the Bofeng BF888S isn't license free um, the Bofeng UV5R isn't license free and then another thing which just sort of gets um, it's mainly at novices and I'm not putting anyone down because you write to ask a question out welcome any question because no question on the channel is stupid um, they think I've never seen anything like that before this is an unusual radio is this license free well it isn't and then you know when we talk about DMR for novices it's a, a new term they think well it's DMR license free so it's a bit of it's a bit of a minefield for a newbie to radio but a license free applies to the band so for PMR446 that is the UK and EU allocations for license free communications and you can talk on that license free but you have to have the relevant radios um, so just do your research on that um, so I suppose the next thing was is you know this is how I answer a lot of the questions is there isn't really any such thing as license free radios so this radio here both in BF S, you can't use this on PMR446 so everywhere else you would need a license you either can't transmit there or you would need a license so if you wanted this on 449 uh, 449 megahertz um, up in the PMR license band you, you would need a UK simple light license which is around 75 pounds um, for five years at the, at the time of filming so you would need a license for that so if you had a small business and you wanted to use radios like this you would need a license um, if you were using a Bofeng UV5R and you wanted to talk to, talk to radio amateurs you would need a license because the uh, the band isn't license free uh, the rules um, in this country and many other countries are that if you want to talk on amateur radio bands you need a license so the radio isn't license free so I suppose the answer to the question in the main is that there really isn't much 
you know, there isn't much in the way of license-free radios. Now, you can go and buy ICOM radios and some more expensive commercial radios that cover the license-free bands. You'll pay more money for them, but they still fall under the same basic principles. That they have a fixed antenna and an output power of 0.5 watts. So, I hope this has cleared it up, guys. It's a bit of a waffle, what we're on, about five, six minutes, something like that. So, I'm going to wrap it up here, but yeah, the answer to the question is, if you want license-free communications, do your research. There are various bands but they are limited to what kit you can actually use. So you can't just go and buy any radio and use it on the license free bands because the radio will be breaking the rules of that of that band. Um, so yeah, I hope I answered the question guys and I hope um, that sort of um, put a couple of people in the right direction of researching where, where, where they cannot transmit. And all I would say to anyone who's after license free communications, look at getting a license, look at your amateur radio license, it's so easy. Anyone, kids pass amateur radio licenses. Um, whether whether people watching this agree or disagree with that now, it's very easy to get into radio and very easy to pass your amateur radio license. So I would recommend just doing it. Um, you know, if you are going to go out and and use um, illegal radios on license free bands, or you are going to use illegal radios on bands that you should be licensed for, then you may get caught for doing that it is it is illegal and you know i don't know about you i'd rather just do things right so yeah i'll wrap this one up guys i've waffled on for long enough but i hope that answered the questions on license free operation if you have anything else to add then drop a comment in the box below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you um, aren't already subscribed hit the subscribe button and i'll say 73 guys thanks for watching catch you later cheers mm -hmm.